Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As always, I hope you guys are having a great day, evening or night whenever you are watching this. So today's video is going to be a tutorial slash overview of the new Artist Couture Supreme Nudes palette. This palette just came out mm, maybe a few days ago. I won't even say it's been a week yet. I'm not entirely sure. Um, Angel has been posting this palette, this beautiful palette all over his Instagram. Trend Mood has posted it. Um, and something told me the, that I, I, I needed to buy it, you know, treat yourself. So I did, um, I ordered it and I've been playing with it and I decided to film a look for you guys. Um, when I picked this palette up, I instantly thought bride. I thought this would be a bomb for brides, um, for either your makeup artist to have or for you to have yourself. If you are one of those brides who want to do your own makeup, I don't blame you. Um, but yeah, this is a beautiful palette. You can pull off a very nice day or night look with this palette. Only gripe I have with this palette is that there is no black. The darkest shade in here is, let me pull it back up to show you guys. The darkest shade in here is that nice chocolate brown, which is called mink. However, on me, mink does not give me a deep enough crease when I want to smoke something out. So I did end up reaching for another black, but you know, it's cool. It's no bigs. Um, so yeah. Anyway, if you guys want to see how I got this beautiful eye look and also my final thoughts on the palette, then just keep watching. All right. So I already got my lids primed. So the first shade I'm going to go into is aesthetic and that's this kind of red brick brown, red brick brown, this red brown. I'm just going to buff that into my outer corner. And I'm just going to drag it in a little bit further. Okay, and then I'm going to go in. Next shade I'm going to go into is Mink, which is right underneath. I'm using the same brush, I just cleaned it off. And I'm just going to go ahead and kind of put that on top to deepen up my outer corner. And then I'm going to take the color, ooh, I'm going to blind y'all, I'm sorry. And then I'm going to take the color Nudist, which is right above the first shade we used. I'm just going to buff that into my brow bone like so. I'm actually gonna go into my Busy Art palette. And I'm just gonna take a pencil brush and just dip into that black and kind of deepen up this outer portion just a little bit. And then I'm just going to go in and kind of cut my crease just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, so I kind of did a little cut crease and I already put shadow on one eye. I am using the color, I don't blind you, the color lavish right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply it to my lid.
Okay, and I'm just gonna go back in with that pencil brush and just kind of blend these shades together. So there's no disconnect. And then I'm gonna go back in with mink and also buff that in as well. So I just went ahead and popped some lashes on with a little bit of liner. Um, I am gonna do something different though. I'm gonna smudge some gel liner underneath my bottom lash. This may or may not look crazy, but um, you know, just make up, let's experiment. I am going in with like a very light hand to just avoid any uh, chances of this going too overboard. So I just did my foundation off camera just to save us a little bit of time, but I am gonna finish up my face. I'm gonna go in with my Benefit bronzer and toast it and just warm up these cheeks i even kind of got kind of got dressed Ooh, acne scarring like a mug don't care though And then for blush, I'm going to go in with, which one do I want to use? I'm going to go in with my Ben 9 blush in Desert Coral. Ooh. Ooh. And then for highlight, this is um, a Nabla, I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that right. It's called a Skin Glazing, and it looks like that. This is new, and this is in the color Truth. So let's see how this looks, looks on me. pink highlighter which usually is not my jam but I also switched the brush I used to highlight with because I felt like I was getting too close under my under eye with my highlighter um, so I had to scale it back and use a different brush I actually like this brush a lot better I'm just gonna hit my temples the sunkiness that is my under eyes I just can't You can definitely tell when the girl ain't had no sleep. The struggle. Stick, so I'm just gonna go in um, with one of my MAC lipsticks and this is in half and half. So I'm just gonna line my lips with my favorite lip liner, Morphe's Trendsetter. And then I'm using Dose of Colors Lip Gloss and Almond Butter. And that is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Ooh, I am feeling this highlighter. I'm actually feeling this eye. <laughs> I'm feeling how I look a little naked. Um, I'm just feeling everything right now. It's a good day to be feeling myself. Mm, catch that. Okay, final thoughts on the palette. It is a very beautiful palette. Um, after playing with it today and the day before, um, I do like how the shadows perform. I expected nothing less from Angel, AKA Mac Daddy. I expected nothing less. Um, I do like how sleek it is. I like how big the mirror is. I almost 
and I do say almost and I'll tell you why it's almost I almost actually like the color story in here I think it's really pretty only thing that's really like kind of killing it for me is that there isn't like a black in here I need a black um, the darkest shade in here is mink which is obviously that shade right there but if I wanted to deepen up my crease or something like that like I'd have to dip into another palette to do so um, which isn't like a deal breaker as far as me owning it but it is like mm, I kind of always want a black in my nudes palette like I just that's just me personally um, the other thing too is it is just another nude palette uh, sorry but it is I definitely can dupe if not color match all of the matte shadows in here to palettes that I already own and I could probably do the same with the four shimmer shades that are in here to palettes or colors that I already own um, so it's definitely just something that's going to be added into the collection um, is it like something I would recommend for you to like for you to purchase <sighs> yes and no yes if you just like really nice nude palettes like this is a straight up like basic bitch nude palette you can pull off some dope looks obviously but it is just another nude palette um also um like i said in the beginning i do see I see bridal all over this so it would be nice to carry in your kit um, if you are a working makeup artist or working freelance artist like, other than that like I can't really recommend it and it's forty dollars but we've spent more on eyeshadow palettes I'm sure all of us have but it's not really something that's like a dire need unless you really just like artist couture then yeah pick it up um it still gets a thumbs up I'm still gonna use it it turned out this dope look so I ain't complaining um I just can't like wholeheartedly be like hell yeah y'all go out and buy it I can't um but yeah Ooh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe uh, let me know if you got the artist couture palette uh, I know it like just came out not too long ago I wasn't gonna get it but um, I needed a little pick-me-up so I bought it um but yeah thank you guys for watching and as always I will see you in my next one Bye.